What's good, everybody? My name is The Generation 71. Thank you for tuning into this uh, Call of Duty gameplay. We're playing Team Deathmatch on Exodia, so I'm jumping into a match now. Uh, essentially, though, this is a little bit more of a broader commentary. One, just saying, you know, Happy Thanksgiving. I always make a Thanksgiving video every single year. Um, mainly just for the people in North America, because, of course, Canadian Thanksgiving is different. It's funny, so. Um, but it's also talking about a little bit of... You know, just something I think that's overdue personally. I don't. I might have talked about this a little bit before. I don't think I've made a whole video about it. Um, and it's talking about, you know, this time of year, which is the most expensive time of year. Because, of course, there's a bunch of, you know, holidays coming up. You know, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know. And then there's specials always going around, especially with the biggest one that happens tomorrow, which is Black Friday. Now, I understand... As a culture, we we are consumers, plain and simple. We consume more than we get. That's just life, and I just died there, whatever. But there comes to a point where just because, I don't know, people seem in, more entitled now than they've ever been. Wow! I can't believe that. Either. <laughs> so, of course, live commentary. I'm going to suck a lot more than usual, so just keep that in mind. But, you know, we consume a lot more than usual, but it seems like for some reason, because you uh, consume, you're more entitled more, more than you you, you have the ability to be, you know, a bitch, a dick, whatever you want to call it. So, and the reason I bring this up is it just seems like this time of year, it brings out the worst of people, as well as the best of people. You know, don't get me wrong, you know, we definitely see some act of kindness. Though, statistically, it does show that acts of kindness are a lot less common than they have been in the last couple of years. Uh, but it brings out the worst in people to the point that, of course, you know, people in customer service make jokes about it. But the the holiday shoppers, they come out of hibernation, you know, and they start really, really acting not so nice. <laughs> and, of course, you know, anybody who's worked retail kind of knows this. So it's like, oh, you know, why do you have to check my ID for alcohol? Or uh, why are you checking these $100 bills? Why don't you just trust them? Oh, like, and there's always, like, little things like that. And it's like, oh, well, you know, your sign says you have the sale. What do you mean you're out? You got your ring, check, involved. things like that. It just, it gets a little ridiculous to the point, like, I understand, you know, we're in a time where we want to save money to the point that, you know, we're willing to do stuff like saying things, like, be willing to trample people uh, in, you know, Walmart or whatever to actually just save a couple of bucks. It's, it's a little ridiculous, but to the point that I still don't understand why we do it to be honest i don't understand like what gives you the right to treat somebody who works customer service like dirt you know it's like they're they're just they're just people too they're just trying to make a living just like you but yet you know for some reason we think that they're lower than most people to the point it's like oh you know i i, I treat them like a dick because they deserve it you know what i mean or it's like you know they're just trying to screw me over so why can't i treat them a little bit less than normal and it's ridiculous. They're just human too, you know. They're just trying to make a living, trying to trying to get it, try to get it done out here, you know. Things like that. I'm trying to make this serious, but then I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff like I've dealt with. So obviously, I work customer service. I've worked customer service my whole life. Um, different places have different things. The most current one is, of course, I work in a gaming retail service. So because, you know. We have a lot of secret shoppers this time of year. We're a little bit more hardcore in checking IDs for every games. So, of course, you gotta love getting in the pants be like, what, do I not fucking love open up to you? Um, it's like, it's not that. It's just like, if I don't check, I can lose my job. It's like, well, I don't fucking care about that. I was like, well, good for you, because I do. Sorry if you don't care about my well-being. I care about my well-being. To be honest, I don't really care about your well-being either. But because I work here, I'm supposed to put up a smiling face and just pretend I do. So, and it's a little ridiculous, but that's just kind of the world we live in now. I mean, People will do the same things for money, I guess. <laughs> and that's what kind of customer service is all about. No, why did you destroy my talent? He lived such a short life. What am I doing? 12 three. That's not too, not too bad. See, I said I was doing sucky, and I'm doing amazing just because the anger has brought out the best in me. <laughs> but yeah, it's just that time of year where you just get those ridiculous people. And I mean, is it too much to ask for you to treat another person like a human being, honestly? Like, is that just too much? Is, are you not capable of doing that? Do you really think of other people so lowly that you're just like, oh, this guy works in customer service retail. He must have been a fucking screw up in his life. He doesn't deserve the time of day. He doesn't deserve for me to be polite, things like that. It's just, it's a little ridiculous. Focus like, why dream. would you ever think that about somebody else? I don't understand. Wasted. Okay. 
Oh, Overwatch, you just got scratch. wrecked, son. Okay. I can just saw somebody back here. Maybe. Maybe. Friendly counter UAV Haha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Damn it. Well, I got the UAV, Friendly so... <laughs> and so, that, that's my biggest thing, is just like, for anybody who's watching, if you, you're like this, if you have parents like this, if you have children like this, please just... For once in your life, don't be a dick. Just kind of appreciate that people, you know, are just trying to, you know, get things done while they can. You know, they're just trying to live their life. And, you know, by you being a dick does not really help them out. And if you could just be nice, especially this time of year, it helps out a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's my that's my biggest thing, because seriously, if you've ever been a dick to a customer service representative for whatever reason, yeah, just, you're fucking stupid and I hate you with passion. Which, it also makes me uh, laugh. Anybody you've seen work in retail or that have have been in retail for such a long time, they're the best bullshitters you will ever meet in you your life. Work. It speaks for but anyways, itself. guys, I'm going to cut it there for now. 18 and 4, live commentary, not bad at all. But yeah, I hope you guys take some thought in this. And I hope, again, you have a great Thanksgiving, guys. But yeah, this has been The Generation 71. And we'll catch you guys later.